Hello, Anna Minyan here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make porn in Blender. That's right, you heard me right. The reason why is because I think there's such a taboo around porn and creating 3D and just normal porn. And I don't think it should be something that has such a stigma around it. It's a double standard because people have sex all the time, yet they'll say that making porn or watching porn is something extremely wrong. This is why I want to make these tutorials to lessen the stigma around making porn. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm just going to be showing you the final result. What we're going to be, what we're going to be aiming to create today. So, uh, what we're going to try to create today is this spline IK dick rig animation. So let me just play it for you, just so you can have a look at what it looks like. Okay, yep. So, yes. Okay, so let me just play it for you in material preview mode as well. So I'll just play it like that. So you can see that basically the hand, well, the dick follows the hand, okay? And we can kind of also move it around to make this really nice animation. So the idea behind this tutorial is pretty, pretty much Dreamwriter created a tutorial on Twitter that I'll have to censor on YouTube because it has a dick. Uh, but if we just play it through, basically we can see that he has a really, really nice hand job animation. And I wanted to recreate it, but <laughs> I'm just really, really hard, uh, bad at doing this because it took me the better part of a month to try to figure out this tutorial. And I finally figured it out. So I, wanted, so I wanted to share the results with you guys so that you can also do the same thing. So yeah, that's the entire idea of this tutorial. Okay, so um, just before we get started, just a really, really quick thing. We do have an NSFW Blender Discord in the video description below. Please, please join it. Um, we have 18,000 members. And if you just scroll down here, you can go to, go to the tutorial pack here. And you can just see that I have this massive, massive tutorial uh, folder of all the NSFW tutorials that I've compiled. Um, yeah, and it has a massive, massive collection of very, very useful tutorials from Rigid 3D to Ricolo and uh, Kawaii Detective. So yeah, please have a watch of these tutorials here if you don't even watch this video here. Okay, so also there's one more thing that I wanted to do, which is that I'm sponsoring NSFW tutorials. I will literally pay you 100 USD for one tutorial. Um, that's above 15 minutes, okay? Um, and that's on creating NSFW content, either 2D or 3D, okay? Because I want to have the ideas and knowledge shared and I want this to be a community. And so I am, am willing to sponsor tutorials for 100 USD, okay? So I will actually pay you. As long as you come on the Discord and then you message me with your idea and we agree on the idea, um, then yeah, I'll be happy, more than happy to sponsor it because I really wanna see more tutorials and yeah, just stuff like I'm creating and stuff like uh, everyone else is creating. So yeah, because sharing is a good thing. Okay, now that's all done, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a really short two minute version of this tutorial. Then I'm gonna go to the two hour long version of the tutorial. If you can't follow along, just go to the two hour one, which is gonna be played straight after this one. So this is how to make a fine dick rig in two minutes. Okay, first thing, create the banana skeleton. Parent the mesh with automatic weights. So create IK control bones, the bottom, top, and middle. Snap these bones to the skeleton joints by turning on snapping vertex. Create the swing bone, so you'll need to parent two bones to it, the bottom IK bone and the root deformation bone. Create the spline and go to edit mode. Select overlay options, motion tracking, and turn on normals. Right click, subdivide so you have three points. Snap the points to the skeleton joints and adjust the spline to go through all the points by setting the spline type to poly and then changing it to Bezier, and now changing the handle type to free. Select your spline and go to edit mode and create three hook modifiers. Now all of them should be targeting the armature. 
The first hook modifier should be targeting the bottom bone. The second hook modifier should be targeting the middle bone. The third hook modifier should be targeting the top bone. Now, select only the bottom spline point and press Assign on the first hook modifier. Select only the middle spline point, press Assign on the second hook modifier. Select only the top spline point, press Assign on the third hook modifier. And now test it out to see if it works. Select the armature. In pose mode, select the second bone from the top. Add a spline IK bone constraint and increase the chain length until it looks normal. In my case, 13. Change the Y scale mode to Bone Original and change the XZ scale mode to Bone Original. Now, scale down the whole object um, and place it on the character. So now, child of object constraint uh, for the dick skeleton to the character torso bone. Set inverse. Add a bone constraint, not an object constraint, to the middle IK bone and target the character skeleton, hand bone. Press set inverse. Add a child of bone constraint, this time to the top IK bone. Target the character skeleton, hand bone, and remember to press set inverse. Uh, use a child of on the hand bone um, and make sure that it targets the swing bone and press set inverse. Now, uh, animate the hand up and down. You should see that the dick follows the hand motion now. So make one keyframe by pressing I on the swing bone. Uh, go to the graph editor and click on the X, Y, and Z quaternion uh, channels. Add a noise modifier on each channel and adjust the settings until they look right.